Well, our next guest, no stranger to country music, hailing from a family of industry legends. The Texas native now following in their footsteps, pursuing his own path as an artist, and he's set to release his brand new EP. It is titled Just Before the Dawn. Welcome to the studio, Way Jennings. How's so great doing? to have you. It's good to be here. You know, Nancy Jones was just here. I felt like there was a bit of a reunion going on in her green room. Oh, it Swapping was. Swapping stories it about is. your grandfather, Waylon, and talking, of course, about George Jones. And they were, of course, good, good friends back then. Oh, they were the best of friends, man. It was, it was really awesome getting to talk to her. She was a sweet lady. I bet you heard some stories maybe you haven't heard. Yep. <laughs> there ain't no stories I'm talking about right here. <laughs> <laughs> Things we can't tell you guys. Congratulations. Third EP. And I want to talk yep. about this album. You never seem to hold back. I've listened to your music, and you're a guy that really kind of puts it all out there. Yes, Talk man. about this album, this this collection of songs. Um, this collection of songs is probably the best collection of songs I've ever put out, man. It's, uh, I've always been a strong believer, if you're going to be an artist and be a musician, you need to be able to sing the truth, you know. Mm -hmm. And my truth is pretty dark a lot of times, you know I mean? I lived a life of uh, bad decisions, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And um, when you're able to put that down on paper and present it to the world and they accept it, it's something. But I believe that the last song on this EP is going to really change lives. You know what I mean? That's what I really want to do with my music. And I'm working on a new album now that I'm focusing on doing that. Because whenever I wrote, well, co-wrote this song, when we finished it in the studio, it changed my life. I mean, it made me feel something, you know, that I'd never felt before. I mean, I felt a lot of hope, you know. Story of redemption, really. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. really is. And I'm, I'm the kind of guy that believes wholeheartedly if I can make it, make a difference and make a change in my life, just about anybody can. Well, I know? love the way with this video, we're talking about Just Before the Dawn, and this music video really is like a bit of a mini movie. And the way you wrap things up at the end and what you say it's really kind of stopped me in my tracks because we've been talking about September being Suicide Prevention Month. Mm -hmm. Everybody has those addictions, those hurdles, those challenges in life, some darker than others, but mm -hmm. it really comes down to you are loved and it is darkest just before dawn, the sun will rise again. That's the truth right there. I yeah. mean, it's the truth. No matter how far down you are, you can always get back up. Yeah. You know what I mean? No matter where you're at in life, there's always hope and there's always a future. It just depends. Up, it's up to you to go out there and do it. I cannot know? imagine, and I have to ask you this, and, I, and I've said I've interviewed your uncle, Shooter Jennings, of course, who I adore. Um, you've, in, having the Jennings name, I, I is it self-inflicted pressure, or do you feel that pressure to kind of carry that? Well, that's a tough question, really. I mean, I feel like it's a, it's a curse and a blessing, mostly yeah. a blessing, but it's also a curse, too, you know, because, you know, I mean, I'm always going to be compared to my grandfather. You know what I mean? And that's a good thing because I love my grandfather and who else would you want to be compared to? Yeah, you know, the best but of the best. The thing that I'm looking at is when he, when he got, when he entered the music business back in the day, you know what I mean? He was, he was Waylon Jennings and he was only ever compared to himself. Right. You know what I mean? And all he ever did was what he could do to be himself. You right. know what I mean? And that's literally all I'm doing is I'm doing what I can do to be myself. But it just, it's very similar to Waylon Jennings because he's, he's a piece of me. You yeah. know, you can't avoid that. You cannot. And you it's cannot. in your genetics, your DNA. It is in your bloodline. And to know that you had that voice early on, I heard there was a story where you picked up the mic when you were a little boy and started <laughs> singing and your grandfather came out and said, hold on, Hoss, let me get you on the stage. Yeah. Those were fun times, man. That was back yeah. when it was really fun and you, I was fearless. You know what <laughs> I mean? And then later on in life, I went back on stage and I was about 13. And I froze like a deer in headlights. Oh. And it was like, uh-oh, this is real now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it is, it is what it is. And I, I love where I'm at today. Yeah, honestly. you have definitely carved out a name for yourself in this industry. I know just last night, a big tribute to your grandfather's, one of his dear friends, the late Johnny Cash, 20th anniversary of Johnny's death. Big concert last night here in Nashville. You were in the audience, Chris Jansen performing. Chris calls you up on stage. Yeah, Standing ovation, people just jumped up and started applauding. Uh, had to be an incredible moment for you. It was a huge moment that I wish I'd have been warned about. <laughs> <laughs> it a, leave it to Chris, right? Yeah, leave it to Chris Jansen, man. I'll tell you what. He's got a, a that man put on a performance like I hadn't seen in a lot of years, man. Yeah. He was really, really full of energy. It was great to watch him up there. It really was. He's an entertainer for sure. Also, Thomas Gabriel did a fantastic job too. You mm -hmm. know, that, that's Johnny Cash's grandson. He's a really good friend of mine. We've done a lot together, and he was supposed to be in the hospital, and he went in there and uh, with a 
one, one of his lungs half full of fluid and just nailed it. He went out there, he got a standing ovation too. So it was a beautiful night. It's amazing. I have goosebumps just thinking about that. The offspring of our legends and you guys now carrying the torch for country music and traditional country music, real country music. So thank you so much for being here. You're, you're going to stick around, you're going to perform for us, right? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Not letting this man go. Wade Jennings, stay with us.